for the consumer, we have the Viper Smart Start app. And if you want to go and set up DS4 in here, you go to settings and say add a Bluetooth, and it's going to say I have a DS4 system. I've already set this one up, so I don't have to go through that. But if you go through here, it's the same process I went through to pair the direct link. I press, press and hold on the valet button, and it puts you in pairing mode to connect your Smart Start app to here. So this is, it's Bluetooth and it's low energy. Most people think that it's uh, like audio. You're only going to get 30 to 50 feet out of it. But we're seeing up to 250 feet line of sight and you're getting 150 foot with uh, some obstacles in the way. So we're calling it driveway range. So if I go back to the dashboard, yeah, I like the classic one the best. I can hit lock, the system locked, unlocked. And it's, it's almost instantaneous. You're not waiting on, like on cellular where you got the, the latency for it to go to the cloud and come back down. But the cool thing is if you add a smart start to this, if, I think that most people will get used to using this app. And then they'll come back and they'll want to add the smart start. If they add the smart start, it's just as simple as configuring the unit, connecting to it like I did before, and plugging the unit into the white port. And then they have smart start. Then they'll have the best of both worlds. They'll have Bluetooth for no latency. So it'll be instantaneous when they're in short range. And then when they're in longer range, the, the cellular will work. I'll go ahead and start it. You can see it'll report back the engine time. So you got real updates. You got 11, 11 minutes, 12 minutes left on the runtime. That's DS4.